reality star Apple Watts in a legal war with her own sister. As she recovers from a near fatal car crash, she claims her sister pocketed thousands of dollars that was raised to support her recovery. Anything we do, money, she loves. Like she collected over $30,000 and hasn't provided Apple with anything. The alleged shady dealings and what Watts says her sister did to her weeks after the crash. I'm Justin Carter, this is TSR Investigates. Jontel Watts, also known as Apple Watts, is widely known as this fun, over-the-top personality from VH1's Love & Hip Hop Hollywood. But for the past six months, she's been bedridden as she continues to recover from a serious crash as she was driving from Los Angeles to Las Vegas on March 23rd. She says that she fell asleep behind the wheel, she crashed into another car, and was ejected from her vehicle. She suffered from a fractured skull, a broken spine, and a shattered arm. She's now able to speak again and has been saying a lot on social media, including allegations of at least $15,000 in GoFundMe donations that she never saw. I had to pay for my health myself. Apple Watts says that her fans showered her with love after the crash, donating thousands of dollars on GoFundMe. There were donation campaigns that she says were set up by her sister, Dominique Flanoy. How much money um, was raised for you? Around 20000 I heard, and 15000 Watts says that her insurance does not cover the intense physical therapy and medical supplies that she needs to recover. She says that she's been paying $5,000 per week on physical therapy. It's my health, everything. I can't get my money for my physical therapy. Watts claims that she stayed with her sister for a brief period after the crash before she was transported back to her home city, Las Vegas. And I've seen her three times when I was there for a week and a half. Only seen her three times, like, chain me, and that's it. Her former manager and power of attorney, Hazel Brown, says that she went to go visit Apple Watts and was stunned to see how she was living. She sent us a clip of Flanoy's Instagram story. She says that the room Apple was staying in was cluttered with items. A lot of clutter, a lot of trash, a lot of old things. Um, it was just a bed inside of her living room, and um, her wheelchair was there. Um, her sheets and stuff weren't really clean. Um, I was there for a total of seven hours, and the only time that Dominique changed her is when I mentioned something to her about her changing her. I never took a shower in months. She never wanted me to get in a shower because she didn't want to carry me upstairs. Without my boyfriend being there, changing my diaper, giving me a bath, saving me, I haven't saved myself in months. Did you notice uh, any difference in her behavior or her activity? Was she going out to the club? Was she, you know, flaunting that she had all this money? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Everybody started to notice. Um, uh, people would see her out at the casino gambling. Um, it's Facebook posts like, oh, my kids are so spoiled. It's like four and five hundred dollars for a pair of shoes. I just think that she just kind of like I feel like she kind of got like addicted to the attention that she was getting with Apple and um, she just didn't do what she was supposed to do. Brown says that she started getting suspicious when Apple began asking for the GoFundMe donations. She said, well, once you get like your feeling tube and your trank out, then we'll be able to, I'll give you your money and you know, you can get the therapy and whatever else that you need for it. She was being released sooner than expected, but I seen like Dominique like tell her like, you know, maybe you should just stay a little bit. When Apple actually moved under the impression that she was going to like get her money and be able to, you know, get her therapy. Um, the fact that she didn't even have a bed for Apple was the thing that made me know like, okay, she don't have the money no more. Mm, so you think she blew it all? Mm. Absolutely. Yeah. If you ain't here since day one, you, you would never be there. This was Flanoy on March 26, shortly after the crash. She went on Facebook Live bashing people who set up GoFundMe campaigns on Apple's behalf. Y'all see that GoFundMe account? Don't, don't contribute to that because that's not, me and my family didn't do that. Me and my family is putting together a fundraiser for Vegas. But I'm protecting her now. I'm going to be right here with her every day, every day I can. Back in August, The Shade Room first reported a series of responses from Dominic Flanoy on Instagram. One saying, quote, I ain't never did this ever, but just so y'all know, mental health is real and snakes in your garden is believable realistic. 
Another post calling out Watts' boyfriend, Ty Williams, for forcing her to return to Vegas prematurely. This post saying, quote, She'd been at my house for almost a month. Ty was only at my house for a week. I got kids. How you only see me three times. What man in their right mind would take a person in the condition my sister in all the way to Vegas? If you cared for her, you would tell her to focus on what needs to be done. Her medical is in Cali. Her court case is in Cali. Something is wrong with him. He can't take care of her. She says, I give up. I'm going to give her her money and she can get on with her bum blank blank. I need my life back and I and ain't no returning after this. Every time I was in the hospital, she'll see me at exactly at two hours before the hospital left and then go get drunk somewhere with a guy. How have you been paying for your medical bills? I'm sure they're mounting. People, my friends been helping me and I'm waiting for my credit card for my GoFundMe. I'm talking better now. I just stand up. I just can't feel my right side. But I, everything's getting good. Watts says that she did hire a lawyer and will be taking legal action. She says that she did start a new GoFundMe campaign that has only raised about $1,000 so far. Now, we also did reach out to Dominique Flanoy for a comment. We sent her several messages. We're still waiting to hear back. For TSR Investigates, I'm Justin Carter. Hello roommates and thank you for watching our YouTube channel. Do you want more TSR Investigates? Be sure to subscribe and check us out at theshaderoom.com.